Hello everyone, welcome to my page, Messages from Venus. This is your weekly reading for the week of the of April 29th. Um, you guys, I will be going on vacation at the end of this week. Um, I'm looking at my calendar. Yes, I will be going on vacation at the end of this week, but we, sh you guys should have content um, for the week that I will be out on vacation. You guys can still book your readings, however, just know that I will be out of the country from the 4th to the 11th. So, uh, yeah, you guys can still book your readings and just expect them to be uploaded and, and completed and done with. Um, what you gonna call it? <laughs> to be completed and done with at the um, the at my return. Jesus Christ, I have so much on my mind. So make sure that you guys pay attention to your astrologers and see what's going on with the stars. We're entering into the retrograde season. Um, let's see what's going on with that. And what other announcements do I have? Yeah. Nothing else. Check out my page for any other announcements, which I will have my announcements on my Etsy shop saying that I am going on vacation and from what day to what day, but you guys can still purchase your readings and stuff. Make your orders. Um, and thank you, you guys, so much for watching. For those of you that have been watching, subscribed, etc. So air signs for the week of the 29th, we have past lives. And past lives can mean a lot of things. A lot of people can come back from your past life in this life. So you could have transmuted yourself into from somebody that was, um, um, you know, somebody that, that came from the trenches and now you have something to look forward to, etc. Um, and so that was a past life within this um, life and so a lot of people are coming back from that past life into your current existence and into the the person that you are today so so stay tuned for that air signs um earth signs we have co-creation earth signs so try to be a little compassionate try to have abundance on your mind and and know that everything that you do has to resonate with everyone around you even if you don't want to even if that's not something that's on your mind it has to resonate because that means that if you don't do that it, it you can put yourself into danger or you can put other people's lives into danger where you are not cautious of what you're doing and the steps that you're making in your life and how can it emotionally and financially affect other, other people uh, water signs. We have the universal Christ. So being mindful, being aware of your surroundings, water, si water signs, and not reacting to everything and everyone around you. Don't react to everything and everyone around you because it, the, it, it takes your energy. It takes away from you. It takes a lot from you. Then we have the eternal embrace. Um, unconditional love. Um, having connection with your spiritual with, with your spirituality is very important or your spiritual side if you forget about your that you're a spiritual being or your spirit your your divinity is within you can kill yourself in the worst way possible um, some people might connect that experience with hell etc but it's not really a somewhere where you're burning it's somewhere where you don't have love where you don't have a connection so try to connect with something in this planet some something anything even if it's a tree try to connect connection is very important so that you can vibe off of everything else um all right so we have aries aries we have um traveling a lot of travel expenses going through through your 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 monies and seeing where it's going and where it's not going and if you're not investing if it's not anywhere where you don't want it to be try to move your money where you need it to be and where you want it to be Pisces uh fights arguments disagreements and it's really within yourself um, and also be careful with the energies that are still around with the, the full moon where I feel like a lot of arguments, decisions, complications that you didn't even know were going on around you um, now come to light. 
uh, Sagittarius, uh, sometimes we have to kill our ego and be smart about how we do things and whom we do it to and, and, and how we react to certain situ situations. Libra, uh, there's a lot of pain, sorrow, hurt, etc. Because sometimes we, not only do we realize that where we came from, but we realize where we're going. And it's difficult to even fathom that we're going there with all the baggage and experience that we have under our belt today and that we're even still alive. Sometimes that hurts to even know that. We have to continue on by ourselves to ourselves. But it's okay. Be grateful for what you have and just keep pushing. Keep moving forward. Also, help is on the way. Leo, uh, try to remain as calm, cool, and collected as possible um, in front of others. Don't allow other people to see you falter or fall. Okay, you're going to be successful, but don't allow other people to see you in that space of mind. Sometimes there's certain things that need to be kept private. Aquarius, uh, move away from any emotions that do not make you feel complete. Capricorn, speak your mind, speak your truth, and go forward with your plans as you wish. Virgo, uh, sometimes prayer is very important, Virgo. Sometimes you have to ask for things and have faith, not just ask for them just because you think that you deserve them. Ask for things because you have faith that it's going to happen. Without faith and without the knowing that it's going to happen, it might not even occur for you, okay? I'm moving the cards, you guys. Six. Never mind. So. Okay. Then we have Gemini. Um, give back. Giving back and giving thanks. Especially because you're you're getting money. You're, you're, re you have realized yourself. But give thanks. Okay. Sometimes we have to give thanks for what we have and just give back. Torres, um, you are at the crossroads, Torres, and it, sometimes you have to just make a decision on whether you're going to go here or you're going to go there and what you have to give up to, to, to go into your next space of being in this life. The universe will always ask you for a sacrifice. Scorpio, Decisions, decisions, decisions are not always the easiest, and sometimes we, we might be, get bamboozled or uh, overwhelmed with making decisions or uh, living life in accordance to what others expect or what others are doing as opposed to just taking a leap of faith and doing it for ourselves. And last but not least, cancer. Um, emotions are running high, but that's only because you want to cater to everyone. Uh, at the moment, which is okay. Just make sure that you don't forget about yourself. And then I have another general message for everyone, which is something that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to just be placing all the cards and tell the story. Um, the general message is that for those of you that are making decisions or are at the crossroads, which we see a lot, uh, make sure that you make decisions not only for yourself but for other people. The highest, highest, and 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 uh, the the best decision for the highest and best good of everyone, not just for yourself. I also feel like this week is a week where we have to fight our past lives um, or or people in our past lives are coming back and making offerings to us, and which we then have to decide what we have to do. Also, a lot of surprises. A lot of things that we didn't know are coming to light, not because it doesn't happen every other day or every other week, but I feel like there's things that happened to you maybe six or seven years ago and you're now realizing where you were six or seven years ago and where you're going and how that helped you or how that experience helped you in your life, which is very, very important. A lot of us need to learn to handle situations without emotions, be emotionally disconnected so that you can um, prosper financially. Sometimes you have to make those decisions and not be emotional about money because money material wealth, finances, those are practical things, not emotional things. So try to keep that in mind, you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And just like I said, I will be out of vacation next week, but I will still have a recording for you guys for that week. I will still have contents for the week of, um, let me see, what's that week? It's the week of uh, May the 6th. 
yeah the week of may the 6th i'm gonna be out so just so you guys know i will still have content i will still have the video for that week um just bear with me i will have reviews um etc because i'm trying to minimize uh the um reviews that i have to do or, or finish reviewing things so that i can just move on to the next step of of this channel and information that comes through regarding this channel so I hope you guys have an, a fantastic day wherever you guys are, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.